This is Duke University. Each quarter, Duke University and CFO Magazine poll CFOs around the globe to find out what's happening from the corporate perspective, the economic outlook, as well as top concerns. This quarter, more than 1,000 CFOs responded, about half from the United States. This quarter, we found some very surprising results about computer hacking. More than 80% of companies around the globe said that their firms have been hacked by outsiders acquiring corporate data. Now, another surprising result we learned is that small and medium-sized companies are more likely to be hacked than large companies. Now, that might be a little bit surprising because big companies are probably more likely to be a target. But the reason we think small and medium-sized companies are more likely to be successfully hacked is because their defenses are weaker. So what might a company do to try to defend against hacking? They might buy new software, buy the latest hardware. They might hire a full-time data security analyst. They might hire a consulting firm to try to do a friendly hack to find out where the weaknesses are so they can fix them. Well, big firms have bigger budgets to, to be able to implement most of these defenses. Small and medium-sized companies are struggling more to implement the appropriate defenses, making them more vulnerable and therefore uh, more likely to be successfully hacked from the outside. So this is a big issue that all companies have to deal with, but including small and medium-sized companies, and sooner rather than later. We're now more than five years into the economic recovery in the United States. It took quite a while, but we're finally at the point where CFOs tell us they're optimistic about the employment and the wage outlook. So U.S. companies say they expect to increase employment by about 2.4% over the next year, which is a nice healthy number and will continue to put downward pressure on the unemployment rate. On top of that, U.S. companies say they expect to raise wages by about 3.3%. So if wages go up by 3.3% and inflation is running at only about 1.5%, that means we're going to have real wage growth in the United States where wages outgrow inflation. So certainly employees will be very happy to hear that. Likewise, policymakers have been waiting quite some time for real wage growth in the U.S so they can potentially start raising interest rates and getting us back to kind of normal monetary policy in the United States. Each quarter we ask CFOs to tell us how optimistic they are about the economies where their companies are located. So we call this the optimism index. It's scaled between zero and 100. This quarter, US CFOs rate their optimism at a 63. That's higher than the long run average of about 60. So that means fairly optimistic in the United States. It's actually one of the better numbers we've heard since the recession ended, okay? Likewise, in Canada and Mexico, they also have about a 63. So North America is looking pretty solid right now for the next year. In Asia, the optimism is approximately the same as in North America. Now that's actually down from where Asia had been, but still we're talking about solid growth, just a little slower from where we've been. In Europe, the optimism's a little less, about 60 on that 100-point scale. That's actually an improvement. So that's things are getting a bit better in Europe. Again, it's a little bit different, varies by country. But overall, Europe is improving into recovery mode. Things are dramatically different in Africa, where the optimism fell from a 48 down to a 44. In Africa, companies are worried about things as fundamental as reliable production of electricity so they can run their plants and businesses. And also just a great deal of economic uncertainty. Latin America, the optimism is in the low 50s, which seems reasonable, but what's very notable is in Brazil, the optimism is 35, the lowest number for any country we polled in, in the entire world. So Brazil has a huge economy, so they're really pulling down Latin America overall. Other parts of Latin America look a little better, but, but Brazil certainly pulls down the average. So to summarize, it's a bit uneven around the world. US, Asia, Europe looking okay. Other regions struggling a bit more over the next year. So that's all for this quarter. I'll talk to you again in September.